Hey, what's up YouTube? Got another enhanced summon video for you with a lot of detail and a lot of different tests. So make sure you watch the video in its entirety. If you haven't seen my other enhanced summon videos, click the card that you see up here in the corner and you can check out my enhanced summon playlist. Shout out to those of you who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you for your support. Okay, let's jump right in. So this test is gonna show you kind of a restaurant pickup. So imagine you are out with your family at a restaurant, it's pouring down rain and you want the car to come to you. Or you're a person with a disability and you physically can't walk out to where the car has been parked. So we're gonna summon the car up to the front of the restaurant and you can see that it does a really good job compared to the last time we tested this and the speed has also increased. The only thing that's obvious to me here that needs to be fixed is the car is not able to recognize the markings on the road that this is a handicapped spot and it doesn't completely pull into the spot. But again, if it's pouring down rain and your family's all waiting here at this Ruby Tuesdays in the entrance, not trying to get soaked, and you quickly summon the car out of the parking spot to come up to you so you can jump in the car really quick, the fact that it doesn't pull all the way in isn't a huge issue. Now let's think about the reverse example. So you just got dropped off at the restaurant by your car and you're going to put your car back into a parking spot. So it's pouring down rain and you all just jump out, run into the restaurant and you just send your car to park. I'm really impressed right here. Watch this three point turn that the enhanced summon does. Very impressive. Yes, I get it, there's not a lot of cars around, but still very impressive how the enhanced summon is able to do a three point turn. So again, with this early release 2019.20, it really has increased the speed compared to my last test where enhanced summon was moving a lot slower. So here through the Tesla app, we set up a point for the car to drive to over here in the parking lot. But as you can see, Tesla knows that most of us are crazy about our cars and we want the BMW parking feature. This is fantastic. I'm so glad that they decided to add this. Okay, in all seriousness, yes, the car needs to understand where the parking lines are so that the car is able to pull into a parking space properly. Now they do already have auto park, but it will only auto park when a car is on either side of you. So back in April, Elon tweeted out that next week, everyone with enhanced autopilot and full self-driving options were gonna get enhanced summon. But currently, the only summon that's available is the regular summon that will pull you in and out of a parking spot or your garage. But I'm sure they want this enhanced summon to be a little bit more finalized, and that's why it's only out to early access members before they push it out to everybody. Okay, let's move over to another pickup test. So this is simulating a pickup from the front of a grocery store. So the car has been initiated to go to a particular GPS location. The car backs out of the spot automatically and starts to turn towards the front of the store. Now I think it could have backed up a little bit further here, but it probably didn't because it knew that the spaces in front of there didn't have any cars in there. So it didn't detect anything. So right about here, you can see that the car starts to turn and go to the location and stops. And you're gonna see, as I back up here, that there was actually a curb there. So the car saw the curb with plenty of time and readjusted its route to make sure that it was able to get to its GPS location spot. Now, right here, it ends up a little funky how it stopped in the middle, and that's probably because of where the GPS location was set to. And this does create a little bit of a traffic jam when your car is parked in the middle and other people are trying to get around you. So we did another pickup test here. Again, trying to have the car drive up and meet us at the front entrance of a grocery store. So the idea was that the car was gonna be able to back out of the parking spot and drive up to the store, kind of going in this direction. So backing out and then turning and going towards the grocery store around this little tree median thing. So as a human driver, that's logically the right way to go. And so there is a car in front of the Tesla here, so it's not gonna pull straight through the spot. Um, but right as the enhanced summon begins right here, you're gonna see that that is not what the car is thinking. So it immediately turns its wheels. It sees me in the parking spot, so it's gonna go around me. And so I start to back up thinking, okay, let me just get out of its way. 
but I still think that the car is thinking that somebody is still or something is still right where I was standing right there. So it continues to kind of go around that phantom person or me that was standing there. What's interesting here is it's almost like the Model 3 realizes that it made a bad decision when it starts to go backwards, probably thinking that it kind of backed itself in or pulled itself into like a little spot that it can't get out of. So we reset the car and put it back into the same parking spot and wanted to try this again to get it to kind of come towards me, towards where you see right now and around this little median. We did have a perfect wall of cars forcing the Tesla to not drive forward, forcing the car to reverse. But then of course, one of those cars pulls out. And so I quickly walk over to the vehicle and I'm ready to step in to that open parking spot now to ensure that the vehicle does not try to pull forward, but I'm too late, it thinks it's clear. But then thankfully I don't get run over by the car and it stops. Um, that's of course a joke. I'm very confident in this software suite that it knows that it's not gonna hit something you know, I use Summon all the time to pull in and out of my garage, and if my daughter leaves her bike there or something like that, it will not run over any sort of obstacle. But of course, when you're testing a Model 3, you see more Model 3s. I see more and more Model 3s every single day. But back to the Summon test, it does fail right here, and we do stop the test because it tries to back out, and we just decide to do another test. So in this test, we're trying to get the Model 3 to back out and go around a gr this group of cars. What you see on the right hand side, there's those two cars right here and then there's a median. And so the waypoint that we have is kind of behind me. And when this car starts to summon, we're thinking that it's gonna back out of the parking spot and drive all the way around. Car starts to back out nice and far. So we think that we're correct and the car is gonna try to drive around until right here and the car starts to travel forward I think as soon as it backed out and turned, the front camera identified that there was an open spot and it's actually gonna try and split these cars. Then the autopilot kind of hesitates and backs up and the test is stopped uh, because it was getting a little too close to, for comfort to this van here. Pretty interesting to see that decision making right there. So I wanna mention something here. When this car got the software update, it wasn't working properly and we couldn't initiate a summon. It would almost start the summon and then just wouldn't work. So if you're having a similar issue, try resetting your center displays. And this is done by holding both of the scroll wheels until your screen goes black and you see a gray Tesla T on the center screen. Once we reset, summon was working just fine. But I wanted to make sure that I talked about this in case any of you had this issue in the future. So although during this testing today, it performed beautifully, understand why Tesla only sent this out to early access members, because it's simply not as polished as the regular summon that'll pull the car in and out of your garage or a parking spot. And it's gonna take a lot more testing, so they wanted to push it out to all the Tesla fanboys before they get criticized. Like I said previously, back in April, Elon Musk actually tweeted out enhanced summon was going to come to everybody next week. Of course that didn't happen. We're now in the beginning of June, two months later, and it still hasn't been pushed out to the entire fleet. Do you think we can expect this same sort of timetable with FSD features being released? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you're in the market for a new or lease Model 3 S or X, check out the link down below because you can get 1,000 miles of free supercharging with the purchase or lease of any S, 3, or X. And with Tesla's new website, you can actually order it right from your cell phone in just a couple of clicks. If you click right here, design yours, using my link, you'll get this pop-up saying you get 1,000 miles of free supercharging. You can select your color, you can select your battery type, and scroll right through all the other features of your car, deciding whether you want to splurge on the more expensive wheels or the white interior. It's a great time to buy too, because now autopilot is included. So check out the link down below. If you already own a Model 3, I have a giveaway running till the end of June for one of these Tesla 3 trays. Check out the link down below if you wanna look at the 3 tray. And all you have to do to enter is follow me on Twitter and subscribe here to YouTube. If you're looking for another way to support the channel, please check me out on Patreon. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.